Okay, we carry on through this document. We'll return to 19. However, concerns about him continued and he was observed during both 2019 and 2020. Detective Senior Constable Matthew Reason in his affidavit sets out the bases upon which he holds concerns about the defendant as a member of the United Kingdom of Australia, as follows. Matthew Reason had sworn affidavit 1st of July 2021, and these are paragraphs noted from his sworn affidavit. 6. The United Kingdom of Australia, brackets, quote, UKOA, quote, brackets, is an organisation which holds beliefs that are commonly referred to as those of the sovereign citizen movement. This means that they do not consider the laws of Australia to be legitimate, nor do they believe that such laws should or do apply to them. The ideologies of the sovereign citizen movement have their origins in a number of anti-government movements which emerged in the United States of America in the 1970s. UKOA is one of a number of sovereign citizen groups and individuals which I have been monitoring since commencing duties at the Fixated Persons Investigation Unit in 2000. And 18. 7. UKOA members adhere to a set of pseudo-legal theories which descend directly from American sovereign citizen theories but which were adapted for the Australian context by Stephen Spires, brackets, quote, Mr. Spires, quote, brackets, comma, born 27 December 1973. Mr. Spires advocates for an alternative history of the world wherein both the United States of America and the United Kingdom were taken over by, quote, world bankers, end quote, due to their various war debts. Eight. The original American ideology from which the UKOA thinking has been appropriated is more forthright in acknowledging that the, open quote, world bankers, close quote, are to be understood as Jewish. This latent anti-Semitism, along with an allied anti-Catholicism is an undercurrent through UKOA thought. This can be seen in social media posts and other media published on the internet, both in overt references to supposed Jewish and Catholic influence, as well as coded language such as, open quote, world bankers, close quote, and, open quote, occupiers, close quote. I just don't know where to start, Detective Senior Constable Matthew Reason. I am, like, in laughter that this is the simplified side of your ideology at the police. You, what, lay a two out on the table. The ideologies of a sovereign citizen movement detracts from God completely, Matthew. Like, emerged in the United States, still relied on God to create Congress and then act of Congress, 1871. You deny these things, so the ideologies of what? It's a bizarre statement to start with. Well, it's six, seven, and eight of the paragraphs of 
Mr. Matthew Reason swore on 1st of July 2021, putting down a number of claims down on the table that can be easily rebuttable. Uh, and these things have been put before justices in the past, leading to a point where the answer will come eventually and you start to make spurious claims. An organisation that is not deemed to be a terrorist organisation and the oxymoron being how referred to as a sovereign citizen movement but then later defined as occupiers quote world bankers do not believe in the laws of Australia and then there are laws that you need to follow we have comments about you should be tried in the Hague so you have four comments that don't equate to your after comments which then don't equate to your sworn affidavit and then you go on to make spurious claims that these ideologies were born from the United States of America when you know full well that crowns have their foundations in English law at which Australia's constitutional law is founded too. So how can that line be American in nature unless it came here and swapped some land for a peppercorn in 1967? That's a question you could ask. And then you go about saying that you've been monitoring and it becomes apparent later how much in a very fixated way over a group of people that you don't seem to comprehend at law. And you're the ones that are upholding the policy of those acts created by the Parliament of New South Wales that wouldn't comprehend this at law either. Which leads to what are pseudo-legal theories if they're born from truths that you yourselves are ignorant of. And then you make accusations of anti-government movements when respect for the ones that founded those governments in the first place is taking place. So you have turned something graceful into something of something of a matter of ignorance, I suppose. And what you've done is laid out very clearly your belief system, which can be rebutted by a long mile. So what does this say for New South Wales Police? Its commissioner, the minister, the New South Wales government, the governor, and the line of authority that is believed to be held there.